is good morning all of you welcome back to a subject database management system yesterday uh, we have discussed about uh, what is the importance of this subject in your syllabus why we do we need to learn this particular <coughs> subject and uh, we just um, taken the brief overview of what we are going to learn in this particular uh, database management system so today we are going to start unit number 1 Uh, which is nothing but a introduction to database in this unit we are going to learn basic things related to the database what is a database what are the applications of database types of database architecture uh, users approaches er diagram sql so these are all the things that we are going to cover in unit number 1 so now we'll start from very basic that what is data what is information what is database and dbms so here you can see a simple diagram uh, here you can see a data is integral part of this database management system first of all there will be a data then top of the data there will be a information top of that there will be a database and on the top uh, dbms and <coughs> at the very top you will find user user is present top of the database okay so very first thing we'll start basic what is data so data is nothing but a collection of facts and figure okay collection of facts and figure so here we have both the things data as well as a information so what is the difference between data and information see data is simply a raw material and information <coughs> is nothing but a product when you process the data in appropriate manner it becomes a information so i will give a simple example suppose i tell you about uh, ashwan kanetkar then tata magro hill and 500 so you will not understand maybe few student may understand ashwan kanetkar is a name of the author uh, tmh is a tata magro hill is a publication 500 may be a page number but suppose this data is gi uh, given to particular uh, student of fifth standard whether he understand no uh, he will, he or she will not able to understand but suppose i represent the data in appropriate tabular format where column name is author under which i have written ashwan kanitkar and second column is what a uh, publication that is tata magro hill and third one is pages number of pages so it is 500 so anybody can understand that means when you represent a data in appropriate format it becomes a information so your data is a raw material when you process it when you represent it in appropriate manner it becomes a information and this thing we are going to keep in our database now next thing is that uh, database how can you define a database see here i want to tell you that uh, you may find different different definition if you refer different books here i have given a simple definition what is database how can you define a database database simply is a collection of interrelated data that is used by various users and application so in this case what is important interrelated this word is very important interrelated means what as you are keeping a data in a single table so there should be some relation between that it is not a case that you are keeping all the data in a single table uh, as I, i will give a real life example to you uh, what is a common thing all of you why you, all of you are uh, listening this particular lecture why what is a common thing the common thing is that you all are belongs to fifth semester csc and you are learning a subject database management system so fifth semester is a common thing uh, that's why you all are belong to this particular class in our department we have second year third year and final year but we are not allowed to uh, sit all the student in a single class why because no common thing among though the department is common but i am talking about conduction of a lecture so separately second year lecture is going on final year lecture is uh, going on third year lecture is going on so as uh, why you are attending this because you belongs to fifth semester that means there should be some relation in the same way in a single table i cannot keep all the data in a single table for example suppose uh, uh, i want to design a database for our college so is it the case i will create only one table 
where I will maintain the information of students as well as faculties, non-teaching staff, books, classroom and so on. So whether I am keeping all this information in single table? So answer is no. I will create a separate table. I will create one table for student. I will create one table for faculty. I will create one table for uh, books. I will create one uh, table for infrastructure. That means I will make a group. But while making a group, what is a common? Some feature should be there which is common among all. So that is the thing. Whenever you are keeping a data in a single table, there should be a, some relationship between them. Between them. Then and then you can keep this data. That's why this word is important. It's a collection of interrelated data. And who is going to use that data or information? It is being either used by a particular application or it is being used by the user. So this is what a simple definition of database. Now next thing is DBMS. So do you think that DBMS is different from database? Yes. Uh, DBMS is just like an operating system. What is the role of operating system? Without operating system can we use hardware? No. So in the same way we can say that your DBMS is nothing but a operating system which help us to use a database. Without operating system, we cannot use hardware. In the same way, without DBMS, we cannot use a database. So DBMS stands for Database Management System. So we can say that it's a tool that is dedicated to manage a database. DBMS allow us to perform various operations on the database. So what are the basic operations that we perform on the database? So we can perform insert, update and delete. These are the three basic operations that we perform on the database but who allows us to perform this operation on the database so the answer is DBMS so uh, most of the time that question will be asked whether Oracle is a database or DBMS or both so the answer is both because Oracle is database also and DBMS also without DBMS you cannot use database okay so I hope uh, it is clear to all what is data, what is information, what is database and what is DBMS. Now we are moving to next topic, history of a database. How database comes into existence, before database what are the uh, technology will be there that is used to store data. So during uh, year of 1960s flat files are used, okay, just file, just like a word file, notepad files were used to store a data okay but uh, storing a data in a file may have n number of drawbacks that we are going to discuss in next slide uh, so n number of drawbacks are there while keeping your data in a file so in order to overcome that particular drawbacks a new concept comes so during 1960 the concept of hierarchical database was come uh, was came and uh, here i have mentioned one example that information management system okay it is an example of hierarchical database so first time database concept was introduced in the year of 1960 and that database was hierarchical database so what is hierarchical uh, what is network relational object oriented that we are going to learn in the next part so here you need to understand uh, what is a uh, evolution evolution of database management system or you can say history after uh, 1960 another kind of database comes into existence that is called as a network database and it's one of the example is IDS integrated data store so it has also have few drawbacks and to overcome this a very popular kind of database comes into existence uh, during the year of 1970 that is what a relational database and it's one of the example is ingress now here uh, oracle MySQL, SQL Server, all these are the examples of relational database. See out of this, all the types of databases, relational database is very much popular because it stores their data in the form of table. So relational database is very much popular. Then after, uh, then during 1980s, object oriented database was, comes into existence and it's one of the example is Versant, O2, Gemstone, all these are the object oriented database then during the year of 1990 uh, there was a concept of data warehouse so how data warehouse is different from database so we can say that n number of databases are kept in a 
single data warehouse warehouse means what it's a big place where you will uh, you can have huge amount of data so uh, the concept of data warehouse were, were introduced in the year of 1990s then during the year of 2000 no sql database comes into existence and is one of the example is mongodb okay so yesterday one of the student have asked question what is the difference between sql database and no sql database so the difference is very clear uh, generally rdms is treated as a sql database and uh, in case of no sql database you do not have specific language just like a sql there for writing a query uh, means form of writing queries somehow different so generally sql database are those which are using sql language okay structure query language to perform different operation and in no sql database we are not going to use the sql but they are different generally no sql database is a part of a big data and hadoop okay uh, big data and hadoop uh, you will find that one of the example in hadoop is a hbase and cassandra these are the two no sql database that is used in the hadoop architecture and then uh, during the year of 2005 in order to deal with a huge amount of data another kind of framework comes into existence that is a hadoop which supports no sql database okay uh, so generally no sql database store their data in the form of key value pair uh, later on i will tell you about this so here you should know uh, what is the history of a database okay so i hope all of you clear with the history now next thing is what uh, examples of relational database see here uh, mostly we focus on relational database though there are four main types are there hierarchical network relational and object oriented but uh, mostly we focus on relational database okay so what are the different examples oracle sql server mysql sybase and db2 all these are the examples of rdbms out of this very popular database is a uh, oracle see oracle is a most secure database and uh, it is being used by most of the organization who want to uh, means who are concerned with the security generally in case of banking their data is very very important so they are using oracle because oracle is uh, a secure database as compared to other database which i mentioned over here so these are the example now next thing next topic is why database comes into existence or what are the drawbacks of file system just we have seen a uh, history of a database before a uh, database comes into existence there was a concept of file system so why uh, database comes into existence because there were a number of uh, drawbacks are there with the file system so that drawbacks we will discuss one by one so that you should know why database comes into existence so very first drawback is data redundancy data redundancy it means uh, same information is duplicated in several files see in case of uh, suppose i will give simple example to illustrate this concept uh, suppose uh, you want to store your data in a simple word file in that case uh, suppose you have written a uh, student name means suppose i want to in, uh, maintain a information of the student roll number name branch email id and so on so i have just stored one student information 